So I wish I could take this baby off roading, but we don't have the right tires for that. So we got to hop off the old bicycle. Um, I also should probably take off the EXP share from our buddy Dracula here. We did evolve last episode and we're looking pretty powerful. I actually think this thing's got some good potential. So um, we're going to take that from you, sir. And then also what we should do, I don't want to forget. We do have the item, um, the Razor Fang. So if we actually give this thing the Razor Fang, it will, if it grows a level during nighttime, it'll actually evolve again. So that'd be really nice. It's obviously the middle of the damn day and we're in the desert, so it's not going to be happening anytime soon, but you know, that'll happen eventually. So um, we're out here in the desert and that probably means we're going to find some like ground and rock types. I think it's probably best to just lead off with happy here. Uh, we'll get you some love, buddy. And also uh, we can catch the first thing we come across here. So we get the opportunity for a cool mon. Hopefully it's something we've never seen. And it's something badass. So here we go. First encounter on this route is going to be a... What is it? A Scorlet. It's a little scorpion boy with a, like, stringy tail. <laughs> okay. Um, well, so that's actually a really cool Pokemon. I, I do like this thing's design. Um, I don't want to kill it with Happy. So I'm assuming it's fire. Maybe ground type. Let's go into Maniac here. We can probably just go for a bite uh, and whittle that thing down. I hope I have enough Pokeballs. I think I stocked up on enough Pokeballs. We should be good. Uh, let's go for a nice little bite here. Take a chunk out of your Scorlet. And wow, that did not do enough. Although, I'm just afraid that it has Hone Claws too, so that's kind of cool. I'm afraid this thing is going to freaking, I'm going to get like max damage or a crit or something. I really want this damn Scorpion. So you know what? I'm just going to throw some Pokeballs at it. Let's go for, you know, I have this one Ultra Ball. Let's see if this thing works. Because um, we could use this Fire type. And we got it first try, so didn't even need to risk it there with another bite. And Scorlet was caught. Let me get some XP there. So it is a fire and ground type, which is cool. Uh, it doesn't really like water too much, but that's fine. Scorlet lobs colorful fireballs at their prey uh, when hunting. The shape of fireworks and Rokoto are thus shaped after them. So that's interesting. Um, we'll give you a nickname. And for some reason, I have no idea why I just thought of this, but I'm going to name this thing Bigglesworth. If that'll leave him. Maybe we'll just go Biggles. <laughs> I don't know why the hell I think of this shit. Yeah, it's not going to fully... You know what? You're Biggles. There you go, buddy. So uh, that is our new Scorpion. It's going to go to the box. And I actually really would like to grab that thing. Um, we're going to switch. I mean, so... You guys were actually leaving comments. It turns out that this egg that I got, it was like the worst possible egg to freaking get. Seeing as apparently it evolves into a poison type. Everybody was saying there was a lot of other cool options, and I chose the worst one, so... I'm sorry, my random choice was not the best, but, uh... Yeah, let's actually run back here. We should go probably grab that Scorlet. I kind of want to check that thing out, see what, uh... See how it goes. And here's the, the Tramp Stamp Spony with the freaking flower on its ass. Get out of here, Spony! Uh, but yeah, I do want to put the EXP share on that thing and start grinding it as soon as possible, because that thing is freaking cool. And where the hell, the hell do I... How do I get out of this place? Juggler, fucking help me out here, buddy. Oh, wait, no, I know. We're good. We're good. Boss alarm. I thought I needed an adult, but we're good. Uh, so we got to run all the way freaking back to the city. But I think it is worth it to grab that scorelet because I think it's cool. Um, let's actually take a taxi because we lazy as hell. We'll go to the old Poke Center as... Man, this taxi company is on it, man. They just take you immediately. All right. So while we're here, we might as well catch a little bit of a heal. And... Uh, the only problem is I do want to bring that egg around with me just to kind of see what it ends up hatching into. Um, but we got to kind of change somebody out then, which is unfortunate. But I think we do have to bring this Scorlet with us. So we shall organize. And here is our buddy with Sand Force. So who do we switch out here? Um, I think we're probably going to go with Maniac. Sorry, buddy. I'll, br I'll end up grabbing you later. We'll kind of just see what that egg hatches into because I am really curious. It's probably something still pretty cool, to be honest, but you never know. So, here's our little buddy Bigglesworth. And uh, he's very finicky. Bold nature. Bur boost certain moves, power, and sandstorm. So, it has sand tomb, flame burst, chip away, and hone claws. Um, chip away is actually rather good. We got flame burst, so we get a speed boost from that. That's actually really cool. I like this thing. I, uh... I'm a sucker for scorpions. I'm a freaking Scorpio, so. All right, let's give you the EXP shirt because you could use that, buddy. 
And all right, we are ready to be on our way. I'm assuming that this egg will hatch at freaking some point on our journey here. Hopefully this episode, maybe not. I might have to do some running around, but I think we'll be okay. All right, um, can I just go to the south city exit east? Yeah, we're going east. Thank you, taxi. It's kind of going to take me the long way. Nope, okay, just, we just teleport over there. That was really not that far, but we lazy as hell, like I said. All right, back to business. We do have to run through this damn route again where um, Happy can never freaking run from things. So here we go, buddy. We're putting Snake in front. Who's only level 25, does need a little bit more experience. I have no idea when the hell this thing evolves or if it even does evolve. I'm assuming it does because that would be a waste of a damn cool looking Pokemon if it didn't evolve, but we'll see. And wow, look at that. We just avoided wild Pokemon there. And of course I hit it on the first, the first grass of the new area. Damn it, I jinx myself every friggin' time. Buzzy, get out of here, buddy. I also should probably have picked up some repels, but I wanna see what else there is in the desert. There's probably some other cool stuff. I'm wondering if I got lucky on my first encounter there. I might have just gotten a really cool, like, rare encounter. Of course, we. I just wanted to kill this Paracot for the quick experience, maybe go to level 26. But you know what? Now you can survive, buddy. I missed, so... I will spare you this time, sir. Uh, we gotta continue to the right. Run into another damn Paracot. Eh, okay. No, I thought I was... I called it. Not the case. Buzzy, the fuck out of here. All right. So I believe we have made it. Yep. Back to the desert and back to our reg regularly scheduled program here. We gotta get some... Holy shit! Now it's a sandstorm in here. Wow. Okay, that was not here before. What else do we have in the wild here? I probably... Oh my god, what is that thing? Please kill it with fire. It's a Gwerm. I am really glad uh, that that was not my first encounter here. A Gwerm? Really? My god, that... That was ugly as hell. Okay, we will put Happy in front because we can just... Aurora beam everything, assuming everything's pretty much ground type, so. What's up with you, buddy? I'm on my way to Gold Dune City. Nice. So this is apparently the Gold Dunes. I don't see any dunes, but you know. Backpacker Xavier chose a great place to be backpacking. He's got a sand dug. It's like a Jeez, it looks like fucking Zoidberg's face, kinda. What is what is this thing? <laughs> so far it looks like we've got the coolest thing in this area. Um so it's level 21, so it's a little bit scary freaking protects itself. Is that supposed to be a shell? Is this thing like a crab? Are you a sand crab, sir? Either way, you're getting peed on, friend. And it doesn't quite knock it out. What are you gonna do? Lowers its attack. I honestly forgot that Aurora Beam could lower attacks. Like, since when... Since when is that even a thing? I apparently don't use Aurora Beam enough, but we got really lucky on our last rival battle there with that, so... We will just finish you with a quick attack. And you dead, sir. So, level 21, so this guy's kind of got some scary stuff. Get some experience there. Backpacker, he's so thirsty. Sir, I have some... I have a lemonade in there for you, but... Okay, so we can actually go through this thing, which is kind of cool. But that leads nowhere, so... Never mind. And then, uh... So I guess... Okay, freaking... wonder how big this desert's gonna be. Holy shit, what the fu... It's Sandster. So this thing is kind of like... Um... Palisand or something like that. Sandster, huh? It's like a Grimer that just banged a palace sand, and that's what came out. That's strange, but I kind of like it. I love Wormhole. Worm Wormhole. Wormhole? <laughs> Apparently Wormhole is a Pokemon. Was that the... No, that Worm was the first thing we saw. Wormhole is probably uh, the evolved form of Worm. I don't know. <laughs> it's very interesting seeing all these Pokemon, though. Never gets old. This thing is going to bide, uh, which is fine, because if this doesn't kill you, no, we're good. It does knock it out. What a weird looking Pokemon. We do grow to level 27 there. Happy's just moving up in the world as the sandstorm's freaking annoying. Uh, but next is a sand dug. Um, I do not really feel like dying today. That doesn't sound too fun. I just don't really have much for this area. It would be nice if I had a damn water type. I guess I could just go into Dracula. We run the risk of getting hit with uh, rock moves, but I think we'll be okay. Sand dug, yeah, that's the, okay, that's, we, we definitely saw sand dug. I'm, st I, I'm terrible, I'm as bad with names. Uh, in Pokemon, as I am in real life, I can never remember people's names, but... Apparently, also, I can't remember remember new Pokemon's names. Although, it seems like when a new, like, actual generation comes out, I do get the hang of all the names pretty quickly. That bite did nothing, man. This thing is defensive as tits. Jesus. Leech life, huh? That's fine. You can leech life me all day, sir. I think this thing's probably more physically defensive than special. I know that I'm way more... Uh, physically offensive. We do actually have Dark Hole or whatever. That's, uh, in fact, a special attack, which I should not have taught, or Dark Matter. 
Um, so yeah, it's a special attack. We're definitely a physical attacker, but I guess in situations like this, it would do more to this damn thing. So let's go for a Dark Matter. Suck you into a black hole, sir. Yeah, it does about the same. And he's gonna freaking sand attack. You asshole. I've said this before, but sand attack is just the most dick move a Pokemon can use. Just kicking sand in your eyes? Like, what a cheap shot. Get out of town, Sand Doug. Martin has been defeated. He would win in a forest. So I guess those are bug ground types or something. Uh, anyway, we should probably go for some heals here. Uh, we have all these... I have an energy but I have energy powder. I probably should have actually picked up some more... Uh, items as I was when I was in the freaking city, but I think we'll be okay at least to get through the desert if not I might have to run back, but we'll be okay Is a pokeball over here. It's a rare candy nice You love to see the free rare candies because grinding in this game does take quite a bit of time because there's no access to the speed up button So that's kind of annoying, but That's about it's all about the experience, you know backpacker Diane is trying to hitchhike over here Or she's just giving me the thumbs up either way. She's got a score lit looking nice um so we i mean i do have a I, I said earlier i need a water type which obviously i do have but i'm saying i need something else because happy is gonna get freaking op uh, but we'll just bubble beam you water ice type is quite the interesting interesting type so we knock that thing out easily biggles grows level 20 looking nice still hot it's hot it's a scorcher out here man okay so i guess we'll just avoid the dark patches of sand phew it's hot here why, out of all the cool places to be hanging out, you people are just chilling in the middle of a damn sandstorm. You got a Tauron. Okay, I haven't seen one of these, thing these things in at least a little while. Um, the sandstorm is a raging. I don't. Oh, I accidentally just used Aerial Ace, but uh, we get a crit, so that works out. And this thing actually has rollout, so luckily it doesn't do very much. It's going to stack, obviously. But we're seven levels higher, so we should be good here. As uh, We'll just finish you with a bubble beam. How about that? How about that? Oh, it's actually weak to water, so, okay. See ya, buddy. Ground type, then. Rock type. Getting hurt by some sandstorm, which is gonna get freaking old. Next is a sandster. Ye old sandster. Um, we'll just aurora beam you. How about that? I'm really interested. Is, that thing, is this thing a ghost type? Is this a ghost ground type? It, it has faint attack, so it likely it is. Interesting. Well, that's kind of cool. We're just gonna finish you off with a quick attack. And down goes your sandster. I'm interested. So I assume the next gym is going to be a ground type gym. I mean, just judging off like kind of the area around it. But who knows? Look, there's freaking bones over here, which you can just walk on. Nice. And there's also another Pokeball here, which is a soft sand. So that actually uh, increases the power of ground type moves as a hold item. So might need to use that if our buddy Scorlet ends up moving, learning any uh, ground moves. And this is actually a, uh, a doctor guy. So this guy will... He's gotta heal us up if we manage to manage to beat him, I assume. I'm kind of afraid. Should I heal first? A battle, okay. If you win, I'll heal your Pokemon. I don't think we need to heal first, so. Let's conserve our items here and see if we can beat Dr. Duncan, who's got a rap pro. Okay, so this thing is a freaking mummy. And uh, that's actually kind of cool. Let's definitely switch here. Let's go into Dracula. Uh, actually, I mean, I guess we could just go Charlotte. Probably a good idea, as we can just go for a bite here. Charlotte does need a little bit more experience than Dracula does. Also, Charlotte's been a little bit neglected. I feel bad. I mean, we're about to hatch another poison type, so I wonder if we should even just switch it for Charlotte. I don't know, though. Charlotte has helped us through some bad times, though. Really, uh, really relied on Charlotte pretty early on there after I freaking killed everything. Because that's what I do. Anyway, a bite does knock this thing out easy. And, uh, mummified the opposing. Wait, what the hell just happened? Just mummified me? Well, okay, We I thought the game just glitched out there for a second because it paused forever. Healing for nothing, no problem. This guy is this guy just out here with a shit ton of potions? Like, how does he heal me up? Come whenever you want. Did he even heal me? Okay, now he's gonna heal me. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. I will heal your Pokemon whenever you want. What a nice guy. So over here we have a star piece. We can sell that for a bunch of money, which is cool. Also, we have ourselves another item here. It's a Stardust. Okay, Star Piece and a Stardust. This is actually kind of a cool area here. There's probably, there's gotta be something crazy that goes down here other than just the Star Pieces, but maybe some legendary Pokemon later on, who knows? Have you seen some ruins here? I sure have not. This guy's like an archeologist out here, ruin maniac, digging around. He's got a Rap Pro again, uh, level 21. So I guess we could just go right back here. I don't know what type this thing is. I'm assuming it's probably just pure ghost. 
But we'll go into Charlotte, take a nice little bite out of it, and I want to see, what's that mummified? Is it like mummy? Is it pretty much just the same ability, but different name? I don't know. It's going to confuse us, though, of course, because ghost types are assholes and like to just fuck with you. Luckily, this thing does get hurt by the sandstorm, too. I guess it doesn't really matter, because a bite will probably just knock you out. And, of course, I'm confused, and we hit ourselves. Yeah, bruh. Now it's going to ominous wind. And, uh, damn, the sandsto sandstorm is just taking it out of me, sir. Please let me bite your mummy. What does this thing look like under the, the wrap? Nobody knows. Okay, so we're confused. And we do break through. And bite does knock that thing out, so... Charlotte took some freaking damage there. But uh, these things take forever to faint for some reason. Well, what's up with that? Nobody knows. We do Greta level 26, though. Charlotte looking good. Lost. This guy is lost. Freaking Indiana Jones over here. Doesn't even know what he's doing. Hello, sir. Can you... Oh, shit. I found it. ran into a wild Pokemon. I didn't even think there was a... Patch of sand there. Well, apparently there was. And there's a Sandster just... Trying to spook me, sir. Get out of the way. I bet Sandster evolves into the... No, no way it evolves, evolves into the mummy thing. That would be kind of cool. You never know in this game, though. I guess a lot of the evolutions do actually look pretty similar to the pre-evolutions, but... You never know. This guy's going to heal us whenever we want, so thank you. And now we can continue. I guess we'll go this way. Maybe see if there's anything else in the wild that we missed. Just another score lit, so... I'm actually really happy with our first encounter. I think I got pretty much what I would have wanted out of this area. Because uh, fire types are cool. And I like scorpions, so you know what? We'll freaking take it. What else we got here? Just another freaking worm. Why is it... <laughs> is it named Gworm because it's a ground worm? And what's up with its weird little, like, freaking scarf it's got on? I don't, I don't... That thing makes me feel uncomfortable, and I don't know how I feel about it. Right? Oh, gee, okay. I thought that thing was going to be shiny real quick for a second, but, it, you know, just a regular sand dog. I just said I don't know how it makes me feel, but then I, I first I said it makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. All I know is Gworm can just leave. This is a good place to train in battle. It sure is, lady. That's exactly what we're going to do. So Pamela here has one Pokemon and it's just a Gworm. Really? I, I never understood, like, why do they give the trainers just literally exactly what you can find at, like, pretty much this, like, one level higher? It's like, this is no challenge, lady. You're not making this tough on me. You're going to lower my speed, though, so, hey, that's... That sure is something. Aurora Beam does knock you out. See you later, Gwerm. I bet Gwerm evolves into something really cool in its final stage or something. We got a little 21 there on our buddy. Looking nice. And, uh, so we can head up this way. There is another Pokeball. Seems like this desert is pretty freaking huge, but we've got to be getting out of here soon, right? Well, I guess that lady had a level, level 21 Gwerm, so, I mean, she trained it up a little bit. But it's like, a, really? A Gwerm? Out of all the cool shit you could find here, lady, you have one Gwerm. Some Pokemon trainer you are. We found a Super Repel... Uh, which is actually nice. You know what? Should we just use that now so I don't have to worry about running into some more stuff? I feel like we've pretty much found everything there is to find here. I do actually have one already, so okay, we have two to work with now. Cool. Um, so we'll head this way, and okay, I used a super repel literally right as it looks like we're getting out of this place. So what the <laughs> Might as well do a little bit more exploring, I guess, while we have the repel going. But this guy's going to come at us with some ground types. Hello, sir. Mr. Gordon has a Toron. We know that you do not enjoy water, so we're going to send a little bubble beam your way. And when the hell do I get Surf? And also, a Water Stone. If I could get a Water Stone in Surf, we'd be looking to be in pretty good shape. Because Happy's just a freaking baby still in its egg. This thing's just carrying the team right now. Anyway, uh, what else you got for me, sir? You got another Tauron. Uh, we might as well just switch for this, this thing. I, I mean, or do I just, I'm just fuck it. I'm just going to stay in. We're going to let Happy take care of it. Because we do not want to lose and lose anything. I'm very happy with the, how the team is. So, I mean, especially if Happy goes down. A freaking shiny gift Pokemon. This guy said, where's the exit? Dude, you're literally standing right next to the sign. Get a grip, guy. Get a grip. Okay, so there's another dude over here. Um, and also another Pokeball. So there is a whole bunch to, whole bunch more to do over here, apparently. A little Hyper Potion. We'll take that. And there's got to be some more items over here. Yep, there's at least one other item. And it's TM78 for Bulldoze. Nice. Okay, wow. We could definitely use Bulldoze. That's actually super clutch. So let's check this out here. Young Bulldoze. Hopefully our Scorpion friend can learn it. He can. And that's the only one that can learn it. So, all right, Biggles. We're going to get you a ground move, buddy. Look at that. All right, let's get rid of... Uh... 
Let's get rid of Sand Tomb. Ain't nobody got time for that. Now we can bulldoze stuff. And that's exciting. I'm very excited to see what this thing evolves into. If Biggles doesn't evolve, though, for some reason, I'm going to be freaking sad because of the potential. All right, so it looks like that's probably really all there is left to do. I mean, we got this guy. But then other than that, we are free to head into the Goldoon City. So Jensen here has a ruby. Oh, we have not seen that thing. Holy shit, it's freaking kangaroo. Boy, it's a boxing kangaroo. Sweet Jesus. Okay, um... This thing's gotta be fighting type, right? Definitely a fighting type. We're just gonna aerial ace it if... Okay, it's just gonna sand tomb, actually. So it's gonna be... It's probably a ground fighting type. Look, this is actually a really cool Pokemon. I like it a lot. We'll go for a nice little aerial ace on ya. And it does knock it out in one hit because Happy is freaking a monster. My god, Jensen. Yo, where'd you get that thing? We probably can actually find those in the wild here. I'm guessing they're just rare, so, I mean, that's that's pretty cool, though. Uh, anyway, let's switch up the lead here, just because Happy's getting pretty OP. We're going to be freaking level 30 at some point here pretty soon, so... I'm assuming we're probably pretty good for the next gym. I don't think we need to do too much grinding, but depends on what the type is, I guess. Annoyed by the sandstorm, you should try this. We obtained a safety goggles. Okay, that's a little late. I mean, we just went through the damn thing. Goggles protect your Pokemon from weather-related damage from Sandstorm and Hail, but also from Pattern Moves. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. Freaking trash cans always empty. Nobody throws away trash around here. And here we are in Goldoon City. Uh, so we got a nice little Wild West theme going on. We will not use another Repel. And, uh, alright. Phew, it's hot. Yeah, it seems like a shitty place to live. But, you know, I ain't judging. What's up, lady? My son and I moved from Serpentine City to Goldoon City. At first, he was sad, but he found some Bug-type Pokemon, and now he loves the city. Cool. Is this the guy? Hello, sir. Normally, we, cut, we bug catchers hike through the forest, but there are bug types in the desert, too. That is interesting. And there's nothing going on upstairs. So, wait. There's probably a trash can that there's something going on in up here. No, wait, no. I thought I missed it, but there was none. So, what about this one? Freaking empty. What a useless house. All they did was, was tell me there's bug types around here. So, that's cool. All right. Um, we'll check out this one, too. I wonder... If there's anything too significant in the city. My dad was on the, one of the first people who found gold in the desert. Since then, our life has changed extremely, and now we have a lot of money. <laughs> cool. Empty trash can. Never thought we had found that much gold in the desert. This was the reason that this city was built. Without the gold, Golden City would never have existed. Do you like gold? I will give you a piece of it. Obtained a nugget. Nice. So this guy gives us just some free gold. What a nice stranger. He just busts into their house, and he's like, Hey, take some gold, buddy. I probably thought I was fucking robbing the place, but... No, we're just out here exploring. It was worth it because we got a nugget from that guy, so. Very nice. We have the Poke Center here. We should probably, you know, while I'm here and ready for this, let's actually go ahead and heal. And we should probably go sell some stuff and then also buy some stuff. Because we need some super potions. I'm going to probably mess up at some point and not realize I don't have any freaking potions. That's going to put me in a bad spot. So we're going to fix that now. But first, we sell stuff. All right, so... Um, I have a star piece. Here you go, sir. It gives us 4,900. Why not just 5,000, buddy? Got a stardust for you. Only 1,000 for that. But then the nugget, we get 5,000 for. Very nice. So we're getting a decent amount of money here. Do I have anything else I should sell? I forgot about the cell battery. Dude, I completely forgot about the cell battery. I could have used that. Damn it. Uh, we have a big nugget. Nice. This is going to give us 15,000 for that. Hell yeah, buddy. And we also have a pearl. Um, tiny mushrooms, maybe we should keep just in case. I don't know. This guy gives us 700 for a pearl, though, so, you know, we'll freaking take it. Also, I do have this mystic water. I could give to Happy, which would raise its water moves, but I think we're okay for now. Let's buy some Ultra Balls, which we do definitely need. Let's get, like, 15 of these things. And then we also... Do we need Hyper Potions? Gotta get a little free Premier Ball, too. I don't think we even need Hyper Potions at this point. We're just gonna get some Supers. We have five already, so let's get just, like, 10, make it 15. And all right, we're probably good to go. Also, we should check out, which is something that I feel like I've kind of been neglecting lately, is the quests that go on in the Poké Center. Let's see what this guy wants us to do for him. He's the only one in here, so. Hello, sir. Hello, you're a trainer, aren't you? I was hiking with my grandson in the Goldoon Caves, but he saw one of his favorite Pokémon and ran away. Just here to visit with me. I have to bring him back to his mother in Rustbolt City in two days. Could you help me find him? Sure. I know that he loves to swim, so I think it would be helpful to surf. Okay, so apparently we need to surf before we can find that guy's kid. How are you going to just lose your kid and then just go chill in the Pokemon Center? Like, what's up with that? I don't worry about the sand too much. It's kind of nice and warm on your feet. 
cool. Uh, there was a Pokeball over... Where was the fuck? Hold up. This is the first... Okay, I got I got turned around there for a sec, but we... <laughs> we good. There's the Pokeball right here. It was a Nugget, too. Okay, so there's freaking just gold all over this damn place. Hello, young one. I'm going to dig until I find a treasure. There was a Nugget right there and a Pokeball, and you missed it. You missed your chance. The city was built around an oasis. It's beautiful. So there is some water here, which is nice. Some grass growing around the old water. I like to share my knowledge with young trainers who train ground type Pokemon and help them become the best that they can be. Yes, you have a ground type in your party. Great, here, take this. We obtained an earth plate. Nice. Um, so, boost the power of ground type moves. That's pretty cool. If you have a ground type in your party, apparently he gives you that. You catch anything good in the golden desert? I caught a ruby. I want one of those. Damn it, I would love to get a kangaroo boy. So we can head out of the city that way, but there is a whole bunch more, it seems, going on over here. Got some, got this kid's just chilling. What's up? I like making sandcastles. Me too, young one. Me too. Okay, let's, so let's check out this house, and then we'll kind of just go around, see what's going on in the houses. Where the hell's the gym at? Should be on the lookout for items in this city. Maybe you'll find some nuggets, which you can sell for a lot of money. So, we already did find one nugget. This kid's just running all crazy. Oh, accidentally clicked on Charlotte, but gives us a blue apricorn, so thank you. I appreciate you holding on to that for me, buddy. Uh, kid, please, jeez, I bet this kid gives you something if you can fucking get him. Temporary sandstorm in the desert in this city is troublesome for your Pokemon, but I heard that rock, ground, and steel type Pokemon have no problems with it. Yeah, that's okay. That kid's got some knowledge. Kid knows about his Pokemon stuff. Okay, so there's also this house here, which we have not gone into, and then there's some over there to the left, but it seems like that's really all there is to this place. I don't know. Hello, lady. I know this may be a little odd to ask, but have you found any mushrooms during- Oh my Jesus, yes! I totally have. Don't go around here. I know their little spots and caps are just too cute. I'll buy them off if you don't want them anymore. Well, shit, I was gonna sell this- I was gonna sell these to the, uh, store place, but I'll get 500 bucks for it here, so... Thank you for that. It gives us 500 bucks for a mushroom? Jesus, what are you gonna do with these mushrooms, lady? Is there something I don't know about these mushrooms? I do actually have, um, a couple more of these bad boys. If you want a big mushroom, you can have it. I also have one more tiny. This guy's gonna, she's gonna check out my big mushroom. Five thousand dollars, hot damn! I literally almost just sold these to the, <laughs> to the mart, but I'm very glad I didn't. And now we have one more tiny one, so we're doing pretty good in terms of money too. We out of here, big ballin'. Gonna buy them, and you can have this your tiny mushroom. There you go. Give me five hundred bucks for it. Kind of a little bit of annoying because it, a little bit annoying because it takes forever to talk to this lady. But thanks. Okay. Uh, what are you doing up here? Come all the way from Brush's Town to help raise some of the younger Pokemon around here. Speaking of which, I've been caring for this little husk pup for the best I can, but I think the weather around here isn't too good for it. Would you be interested in having it? I sure would. The party's full, but we're gonna get a husk pup. Is it gonna be a freaking baby husky Pokemon? I oh my Jesus. Oh, and the sandstorm's back. Of course it is. Let's go to the Poke Center and we'll just deposit something. Uh, probably gonna be the egg because, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll have to run around and hatch that thing eventually, but we need to see what this freaking husk pup is because, uh, that sounds awesome. Here you go, egg. You can chill in box one for a little bit, sir. I'm really bummed out I ended up getting the freaking poison one. It's not, <laughs> it's not the egg I wanted. But, you know, I just thought purple was going to be a cool one. You guys are like, you chose the worst one. Like, sorry, okay? I don't know these things. Um, so we'll head back in here. Was this the freaking house? Hello? Y'all got my husk pup in here? I have space now. Yep, so all the way from Brushes. Younger Pokemon. It's probably going to be a really low-level thing, but a husk pup, we could definitely... We will take that. And we have obtained a husk pup. Uh, so we'll definitely give you a nickname and sweet Jesus... Is amazing. We're gonna name it Ghost because of Game of Thrones, and uh, he's our dire wolf. All right, let's see what this little thing. Splendid. All right, looks happy in your care. Thank you so much for that. Level twenty, actually, so not too bad. And it is amazing. I love it so much. It has Moxie, which is great. Uh, this thing is pure ice type, which is kind of cool. And uh, it has Odor Sleuth, Howl, Ice Shard, and Pursuit. So now we got double ice types, but. Dude, that is awesome. I love this thing. Okay. That's cool. They give you an ice type right before... I feel like it's going to be a ground gym. I don't know. Well, that's awesome, though. We got ourselves a free husk pup. And our buddy Ghost is going to protect us now. Hey, young trainer. Do you know how to move boulders? In the past, you needed a Pokemon with the move strength. But nowadays, you can move the boulders by yourself. Just need some strength gloves. 
Bought some for my daughter, but they were too big for her, so I'll give them to you. And we obtained some strength gloves, so now we can use strength, which is cool. Thank you for that, good sir. Dad is a gold hunter. He's hacking through the golden desert and searches for gold. Nice. Okay, so there's actually some areas to the left over here, it looks like. That guy's got his little sand thing. What's going on in here? Yeah, so I'm the move deleter. Okay, this guy, we don't really want to delete anything. Seeing as there's no eight gems, there's not really much of a use for that guy. But I guess now we know where that is. So the move deleter is just chilling here. Doing his services for people. Hello? So much sand. It's everywhere. And I mean everywhere. Okay, descriptive. But uh, all right, so I guess that's really all there is to explore in this place. Other than false alarm, there's a fucking gym right in the middle of it. Which I somehow missed. Hello. Want a gym battle? Well, Dustin isn't here. He's off in the Golden Desert finding Pokemon fossils. You can find him in the cave. Okay, so it looks like we got our next uh, next item of business to take care of. We gotta find the gym leader in there in the caves, but also there's that one missing kid. So we are gonna go do some exploring next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. It really does help out the series, and I appreciate all the comments and all the love. But I will see you guys next time. Peace out.